third uh, lecture about the games, serious games for health, and our first presenter is Vlad. Yeah, and my topic is intellectual therapy systems for children who have autistic, autistic spectrum disorders. Uh, autistic, autistic spectrum disorders. Uh, autistic spectrum disorders encompass a wide, uh, a wide uh, continuum of associated uh, cognitive and narrow behavioral. Uh, disorders, which include empirical, empirical socialization, empirical verbal and verbal uh, communications. And according to the statistics, uh, it is from 10 to 20 cases, uh, about 10 hundred thousand people in the United States who meet the criteria of spectrum disorders. And uh, in regard to this, uh, people who have this um, uh, disorders, uh, it's very hard for them to have some help from medical institution from because there is lack of facilities, there is lack of some new methods, and uh, only few children can get this um, uh, treatment uh, because it's not. Uh, it is inefficient uh, with regard to time and cost. And uh, therefore, uh, should be developed a lot of medical uh, new new, method, new, uh, new medical methods, new technologies, uh, which could be applied to help these children uh, to have some medical treatment. These articles uh, describe uh, experience, which was gained in the collaborative design, and keep uh, meta points of these collaborative designs uh, have been utilized and uh, tried to uh, use in this uh, new assistive technologies. For example, uh, theoretically, uh, in medical uh, clinics, uh, there is few, uh, student, uh, children uh, who has this medical disorders, and uh, when they have effective intensive therapy, uh, it reports that nearly 58% of these child children uh, can form uh, conversations which, is, which are recognized uh, recognize the face and to be adapted into the socialization in future. And uh, uh, in, in practice, uh, there is good influence on children. Uh, has treatment when the children works with when the children work with uh, therapy, therapist uh, one by one. And they they they, they receive repetitive bill and uh, they receive some blocks, some new skills uh, from which they can adapt and. Uh, build new socialization uh, skills and be adapted to the um, socialization. socialization yeah. And uh, a lot of researchers uh, confirm that using uh, modern technologies uh, help uh, to these uh, children be adapted and uh, be teached uh, by, by the skills. Uh, for example, today exists a lot of modern technologies, for example, which can help uh, to adapt the children to use public transportation independently without any help. Or there are a lot of games where they can practice behaviors in role-play situations. Or also there are a lot of uh, programs, uh, for example, Augmented reality. Uh, using these technologies, people can be 
people, student, um, children can use a lot of uh, various uh, different uh, different contexts, and they can adapt. For example, uh, how people look, how people uh, sing, what about what do they sing, and etc. Also, uh, it can be some computers which can be controlled by people who don't have opportunity to control it by scans. For example, for this, I developed special camera, general camera, some special software, and uh, people, uh, st uh, children can uh, use, for example, um, mouse by uh, cat or by, uh, I don't know, by, by cat or by some, or uh, etc. Uh, also, there are some other programs which help communicate with each other and uh, use special kinds of games where they can be adapted with, uh, to communicate with each other. Uh, uh, there is, it was made some observations in one United States clinic where we can see how the treatment medical process works. Uh, the groups in this clinic uh, were divided into uh, several groups. It was one by one, one therapist and one uh, children, and also it was uh, one therapist and three, four people in one group. Uh, it has been made a lot of uh, play therapy uh, programs, music therapy programs, uh, verbal therapy programs, uh, which were uh, adapted to recognize how people can, to recognize the coordination ability of people, how the people are satisfied with these games, uh, what do they can teach from it, learn from it, and etc. And the main parameters of this therapy are children should be satisfied, they should feel naturalness, and they should feel enjoyness, and uh, the main purpose would be to learn something from it and uh, expand the relationships between other people and to be more adapted to the social socialization. Also, uh, the main future of uh, people behavior is when people recognize the moments which were in the past, they feel more comfortable and more and feel more safety. And uh, the main attention should be made uh, on it because it's very very important. Also, uh, we should talk a little bit about uh, the real programs which. Uh, were developed and presented in this article. Usually, it uses uh, very simple hardware, office hardware. It uses like camera, uh, computer, projector, and uh, uh, and some tangible devices when where people can interact with uh, with computers and. Um, now exists a lot of different programs which are adapted for different spheres, for different spheres, for different fields. For example, it's result coordination ability assessment, it's special programs which uh, measure result coordination ability, for example, using special devices like stick, people can uh, break in virtual bones and then they do it. Um, uh, Reinforcements re re are provided for, for the success. And um, these programs uh, can be adapted to each person because each person is unique and uh, requires special medical treatment. And uh, this treatment is made according to the parent surveys and according to the children's preferences. 
Also, there are some other kinds of programs like social skills training. Uh, this course, uh, the subset of programs uh, are specialized to recognize how people see, how people uh, see, what, what people see, and etc. For example, here we have different kinds of programs where some elements appear on the window, uh, on the screen, and people and, and children can uh, recognize and can use tangible devices just to ch check something, just to choose something, and they, they can uh, learn something from it because they do it uh, simultaneously with a therapist and uh, all uh, children's actions uh, can be learned and uh, used in future to help them. And uh, also, a lot of attention uh, should be paid on uh, that, that children become boring when they do the therapist programs. Also, it means that some uh, new ideas, new technologies, uh, new methods should be developed and adapted uh, in these programs to make it more gainful and to make it more interesting. Uh, and uh, we can conclude that these programs are really necessary because uh, they can they help they help people uh, to be adapted to socialization socialization and uh, it's it's very efficient because uh, it doesn't cost a lot of money of course it depends on the equipment and it depends on the development programs but uh, if compare with method when therapists work with uh, one, children, one, one child, uh, it's more profitable and more, more useful. Do you have any reflections on the study? Quality, good things, bad things from your, from your perspective? Uh, yeah, on one hand, everything, for example, we will have the second time uh, topic, it's time to eat. And everything what we have now is associated with computer technologies and computers and uh, the programs and so on. On the one hand, I think it would be more better when uh, people communicate with each other like in the real life. Because, I don't know, when you use computers, of course, it's more profitable, it's more cheap, yeah, if you say about the white you know, people. But I think that these technologies should be combined with real life. We shouldn't pay a lot of attention only on the computer technologies, only on these methodologies and so on. Of course, it can be good uh, in some cases. It helps. It can uh, adapt uh, for different real-life situations. Uh, but we should, we should combine it with real life. Uh, also, the good points are uh, we, 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 we develop some new technologies, we develop some new ideas, we develop some new methods. And, uh, and it was less than you work with therapists and uh, one children. Um, but um, I mean, if, if you have if you assume that uh, there is a place for game in this case, now is this a good way of studying that the advantages of this game, like learning from uh, the effects? 
Yeah, effects from these programs for children uh, are very useful and, uh, and efficient because children can learn something new and it really helps them to um, have some medical treatments all over the world. And just, uh, I mean, there are a couple of things about, uh, I don't know whether it has helped you from us, but uh, I find it interesting that games, we introduce games because they are fun and enjoyable, and because they give an individualized experience. Now, when I talk about the limitations, they say, okay, the, the kids got bored, and the therapy should be individualized. So it seems that what you typically use a game for was not really implemented here. Is that right, or? Uh, it's not a game when you enjoy the game, yeah? It's a game which has some purpose to, to, uh, to help people to be adapted to socialization, to have some medical treatment. And and uh, that's like it all, these limitations which we have in the end should be adapted and Uh, should, should, should be developed should be developed in the future not to so what what do you think did they achieve the the goal of of release, relieving the one to one sessions with the with the kids as I said they got bored but I think it was because they uh, they didn't vary it a lot. So uh, it was kind of a bit limited. So the kids got tired of doing the same thing over and over again. And even if it is a game, if you do the same thing over and over, you will lose interest. So um, I think they said that the um, parts that they enjoyed the most were where they had to do this uh, specific task. Um, so. It probably needs some more experiments to uh. be developed a bit more, but it seemed like that mostly the kids liked it. Mm. But, uh, yeah. it's, a, it's probably always a challenge to create something new with um, that can really be played on. Yeah, yeah. But there's another challenge here, I think, is that you will like, as a designer of the game, you will like the kids to go through a number of exercises. Or mm -hmm. But in the game, you, you should be free to do whatever, and gain whatever experience. But perhaps so there could be something more to motivate them. Mm. Perhaps some more things like, I don't know, the help with points or these things. But there are many different mechanics that can help to motivate people even more. Mm. So. These were really simple games, so yeah. could probably be a little bit more, in my opinion. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, for me, it, it's it's one of the the classic problems of trying to make or trying to fit games into your pre-existing way of thinking of doing things. Right? So they thought, oh, we're going to teach them this thing, we're going to we're going to do this thing, and we're just going to force it into that box, right? Um, and yeah, um, if, if you're not very good at making games, it's really easy to make really bad games. Right? <laughs> and they have all the features of a game, but they're boring. Um, so, so yeah, it, uh, and no, normally what we do when we make bad games is we throw them away and make another game. Um, but because these are have another objective, they stay around. So I think it, it leads to one of those classic problems of how do we make something that we have a kind of very set way of thinking about into something much more open and free and engaging and fun like a game. So, you know, some of those uh, games remind me of those old iToy games. Uh, and uh, I remember those as being very engaging. So, you know, maybe there's a better way to incorporate all those things. For example, the, the, um, the old game where they... Um, where the kids had to choose um, the right object that the eyes were looking at, and all these things. So they, they tried to incorporate some sort of feedback where the, I think the smiley face was uh, giving them sort of like, oh, yes. So, so there's a lot more stuff they could have done to make.
make it more mm. engaging and and get give the kids more feedback. Maybe. Yeah. Because that would make them feel some sort of accomplishment and all that. The games. It, it is kind of really difficult with normal children, and especially with this, uh, with these children, that's sort of a, a big challenge. So, um, I, I thought that the that they sort of laid out the motivation as if to replace the one-to-one -one sessions, but then they didn't really replace it. It was still one-on-one -on -one session with the instructor, kind of guiding the tool, uh, and then as a result, they say, well, even though the instructor was still there and the tool was still there, it was still not working because the tool was not customizable enough. It has to be personalized for those children. So in a sense, they sort of failed uh, to achieve the setup goal. Yeah, not all kids with ASDs are the same. So some might need to practice yeah. one thing more than the others and uh, then if the, everyone has to do the same thing. Yeah. Some things probably get really boring. Exactly. And then the other aspect was if it was an assistive technology, if it was a tool to assist the instructors or the help, uh, the, the um, caregivers, they haven't done the study on that, like what would be the best assistive technology. Mm -hmm. uh, so I, I felt... Yeah, and it doesn't really say anything if the, it actually helped. Yeah. They didn't come no. close the, if it actually worked or they, they didn't have any method to, to establish mm. that. Yeah. So we have no idea. So it, it, it's an interesting exploration of, of the possible space, but as a study, I, I felt it was sort of missing the, the structure to, to do that well. I think it was also missing in design. I mean, it should, it should have made a better game. <laughs> yes. Because if you want to measure the effects of a uh, serious game, you should mm. give, give, give it the first place. Mm. Yeah. So what we can do is we can have a look at the... So Simon, if you go to Fronter. Uh, I can, uh, yeah, I can probably share the screen. So we can uh, check. Yeah, no, I've got Fronter up. And yeah, that's good. But it will be recorded on the video if you put it up there. So. That's right, yeah. So that, that will be useful. So we can have a look at the at the questions people you guys asked about that that article. So not everyone voted on the questions, so the, I didn't sum them up because that would be unfair for the questions which only got two <laughs> two points. I would have to yeah calculate an average and so on. So it, it's j I just highlighted the questions which kind of possibly were better than others. Um, but did you, uh, uh, if there were questions that were kind of similar, did you just choose one? No, so I, I kept both. So there were two yeah, two similar questions here. There, there's question two and question four. We you didn't include any questions. No? no? They are not here? No. I saw some of them were a little bit similar, so I thought you kind of just matched them together or something. No, they should be here. No. Okay, so then apologies must have been a mistake somewhere in the process. <laughs> my points. I know. <laughs> I have to go through the emails again. Yeah. So because I, you. <laughs> yeah, I should get penalized. I couldn't find your votes. So uh, did you vote it? Yeah. So I couldn't find that, I, but I, I was kind of dead. Uh, <laughs> and then I have to go. That's understandable because of the gem. Um, so, which methods of interactive design have been proposed for children with ASDs and what each of them means? Question? Whose question was that? Sorry? My, my, my question. It's your question. Yeah. yeah. So what do you think? A good answer would be. Which one? Yeah. Um, just as I was told, there are different uh, kinds of games, like adaptation for 
public transport, location to use independently, and uh, developing some uh, computer which can be controlled by other people. And this is the methods uh, of interaction design. It's like my, my, uh, methods for VR, VR methods, mm -hmm. a method for prototyping, uh, also pre prototyping, the method for um, Tangible interaction and scenario based design. These methods uh, have been proposed. Mm -hmm. And this, on the basis of this uh, methods, uh, can be developed some new mm -hmm. So the question second is uh, identifying that children were getting bored and how that can be um, and the paper suggests that the content should be more personalized so question three is uh, uh, question four is actually going along those same lines it's pretty much the same question uh, and both were yeah, relatively highly ranked so we discussed it a little bit already so we discussed that uh, the, the games were not tailored per student and that would most likely help uh, although I still think it is the, the goal of replacing the one-to-one -one sessions is far from being kind of achieved in, in, in that in the study uh, even if the game was better even if the content was personalized then I still feel the instructor would have to be there it's it's a little bit too challenging to imagine that it could be replaced uh, so if the instructor is there, then the, the nature of the study would be slightly different because then you kind of being an assistive uh, technology instead of, uh, but yeah. So question number three, uh, what types of social skills training was designed for and what is the goal of the different training types? So I guess, yeah, it's similar to question one. and. Uh, Vlad already discussed that the, the different um, social skills which were targeted. Um, and question number four, what common features of therapy did the researchers find while observing the treatment? So whose, whose question is that? Maybe Hendrix. Um, what do you mean how the kids react to, to the therapy or how they like, Yeah, it's a little bit ambiguous of what of what the question asks. It was in the article is how the people feel when they do this therapy, mm -hmm. and they should feel uh, usefulness, they should feel naturalness, enjoyment. And the main purpose of this chapter was some limitations. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, so it's asking about the therapy before they introduced it. So, so for me, this this was actually asking about the section on the observation of, of children. So the, the the section there where they talk about um, what are the common um, features of all the other kinds of therapies, not game therapies but all therapies about improving communication and uh, all therapies need to have naturalness and a sense of stability and enjoyment so that section of the paper. Um, uh, section 3. So yeah, yeah section 3. It's a minute paragraph in section 3. It's kind of what it was it was referring to which makes it a relatively specific question to this specific paper. Yeah.
Okay, so um, the next question. Yep. So um, should we have a short break before Pfizer? Oh, yeah, we actually have two more people. So maybe we we do... Yeah, yeah. Do you want me to install, to put something on? Or who, do you want to go second, or you want to go second? Uh, I from inside the my computer, and it's no power yet, so it's probably take a little more. Okay, so you go after break. So do, do you have a presentation? No. Yes. So I can, I can load Hopefully it up. Hopefully you can. Yeah. So I will uh, stop the bro broadcast for a moment. Or can I resume it after I stop it? No. Okay. Let's no, you have, to, you have, to, you have yeah. to create a new one. Yeah. All right, so let's carry on. It shouldn't yeah. take long. It should take long. Da -da -da. Is it the, that one? Sounds good. Do we move the camera the other way again? Or turn on the slides? Yeah, just. Maybe it's okay. okay. Um, okay, so we have. The view is like this currently. And what I will do is I will put slides up, yeah. We'll have the slides and... That stopped working for me. I can't share the screen anymore. Okay. Let's have a break.